Hi, I'm Michelle Sparkman, and I'm doing my poetry reading written by Daniel Beattie. It's called Knock Knock. As a girl, I shared a game with my father. Played it every morning till I was three. He would knock knock at my door, and I pretend to be asleep until he got right next to my bed. Then I would get up and jump into his arms. Good morning, Papa. And my Papa would tell me he loved me. We shared a game, knock knock, until the day when the knock never came. And my mama takes me on a ride past cornfields on its never-ending highway until we reach the place of high, rusted gates. A confused little girl, I enter the building, carried in my mama's arms. Knock, knock. We reach the room of windows and brown faces. Behind one of the windows sits my father. I jump out of my mama's arms and run joyously towards my papa's only to be confronted by this window. I knock-knock trying to break through the glass, trying to get to my father. I knock-knock as my mother pulls me away before my papa even says a word. And for years, he never said a word. And so 25 years later, I write these words for the little girl in me who stills awakes her papa's knock. Papa, come on, because I miss you. I miss you waking me up every morning telling me you love me. Papa, come on, because there's things I don't know and I thought maybe you could teach me. How to shave my legs, how to dribble a ball, how to talk to a man, how to walk like a lady. Papa, come on, because I decided a while back I wanted my husband to be just like you. But I'm forgetting who you are. And so 25 years later, a little girl cries and I write these words to try to heal and try to father myself and dream up a father who says the words my father did not. Dear daughter. I'm sorry, I never came home. For every lesson I felt to teach here, these words. Shave your legs in one direction with scrum, deliver strokes to avoid irritation. Drive the pace with the brilliance of your ballpoint pen. Walk like a child of God and your husband will come to you. No longer will I be there to knock, so you must learn to knock for yourself. Not knock down doors of racism and poverty that I could not. Not knock on doors of opportunity for the lost brilliance of the black men who crowd these cells. Not knock with diligence for the sake of your children. Not not for me, for as long as you are free, these prison gates cannot contain my spirit. The best of me still lives in you. Not not with the knowledge that you are my daughter, but you are not my choices. Yes, we are our father's sons and daughters, but we are not their choices. And despite their absences, we are still here, still alive, still breathing, with the power to change this world. One little girl in border time. Not not who's there? We are.